Girl got me messed up. <laughs> Kim got it. I used to have a crush on the Amish guys at the auction that I used to go to. <laughs> Hey what's up guys, welcome back to today's video. So today, this video looks so strange. Like look at all the background, look at the whole look. Um, basically you're sitting on a box next to my window and we're gonna do something that's called meal time with cats. So basically, or lunch time with cats. We're gonna eat food and we're just gonna talk because I've always loved mukbangs, that's where I wanted to start. And I decided that we're just gonna have our lunch together. We're gonna eat some lunch and we're gonna just talk about I guess life. So let me go ahead and season this. I thought that this would be a really good video thing for advice. Like I could give people advice. I could just talk about stuff. Today I actually wanted to talk about hookup culture and just some discussion around these dating apps. Because it seems like a lot of people around me lately have been dating. So whether that be family members or just people in general. I get a lot of people who ask me questions about my relationship or my life and how I'm with a long-term partner. So I'll tell you guys a little bit about me. I have an eating disorder. That's kind of why I wanted to do this segment because I wanted to just talk like raw, okay? I didn't want to talk about anything. Like I just want to talk about just raw things about me. And I basically have an eating disorder and this is kind of a segment to help me feel good while eating. During COVID, I did something similar and that's kind of how I started on TikTok. I would record myself eating meals. I couldn't really taste the food uh, after I had COVID for like four or five months. I couldn't taste anything. Like anything I ate was just super bland. And I think that's why I started to like seasoning now because I began to realize how much flavor is actually in food. Because I used to say I love bland things, but now I'm so much more into seasoning it a little bit. Like I got my black pepper here, okay? I know that's not like a lot of seasoning, but I would never do this before. Before I left Starbucks, I just remember this one girl that I worked with would always ask me questions about my relationship or questions about myself. And she'd always ask me things like, how did you stay in a long-term relationship? Or how are you successful in life? Or she was so good to work with because she's super like talkative. So she always asked me the craziest questions like, one time she told me that she was having not good luck with men, that she had slept with quite a lot of men and she felt that her value was kind of diminishing. I'm like, girl, don't say that. Your value doesn't diminish um, because of what you think is done to it. It diminishes because you're thinking in your head that you're worth less. And so we had a really good conversation and we talked about hookup culture, these tenders, these apps, Grindr, Bumble, all these things that all these apps that she had that she would use to meet men. I remember her asking me like, what would you do if you were single right now? Because she just valued my conversation and my discussion of how, I don't know, I'm kind of blunt, but also at the same time, I'm very understanding and I support people. So I support people who want to hook up I support people who want to do all those things. So if you want to, en there's an alarm going off. If you want to engage in hook of culture, if you want to join those apps, of course, but I would never. So I told her I would never go on Tinder, none of it. I don't believe in any of that. I would go to Barnes and Nobles. I was like, girl, I would look lost in a Best Buy because that's just the kind of men I like. I like geeks, I like nerds. So then I remember asking her, what do you want out of a partner and she said i want someone who's going to listen to me and i said did any of those men that you were with listen to you no and that's the thing i feel like the instant gratification of these applicate like these applications like tinder and bumble and all that they're essentially doing this they are everyone who's going on tinder is going on there and they're in a market of sandwiches, okay? This is like a Korean sandwich market, let's say. They're walking up to these sandwiches and going, mm, I'm so starving, I want this tuna sandwich. Ah! And they're eating the whole tuna sandwich, like they're just busting it down. And essentially, they're busting down this tuna sandwich and then they're going back at the crust. They have the crust in their hand and they're going, I actually didn't like celery. That's what dating is like, and that's what hookup culture is like. 
you're getting the sandwich and you're you're getting the gratification of eating it of devouring this delicious sandwich this woman this person but then after that deed of eating it is done you don't like you just discard the crust with the rest of the celery and you don't go back girl got me messed up <laughs> so i basically feel like this instant gratification obsession that people have with hooking up is really messing with people who are genuinely looking for relationships. So there's people who are looking for love, for, for marriage, for things like that. And they're going and they're putting themselves on the sandwich shop market. They're not putting themselves um, their nutrition facts in the bio. Like you're not getting that nutrition facts. Like babe, I'm gluten free. Okay, I'm gluten free. Girl, I'm gluten free. Uh, I'm vegan. Like I need to, let me see them nutrition facts. Let me see your political party. Let me see your, like, I don't know, anything. Like, let me see the way that you carry yourself. Let me see your trauma. Like, they're not doing that. They're just meeting on this <laughs> market. They're just meeting on the market, eating the sandwich, going back and saying, I actually don't like this one, going to the next sandwich when they're hungry again and going back. Instead of going to the market, reading the nutrition facts, going, okay, I want this one, getting that one, eating it when you're actually hungry and then saying oh this one was good and then keep going back to that one when you have a good sandwich at least for me i don't need to browse around i'm eating that sandwich for the rest of my life i like salami cheese lettuce tomato and pickles extra pickles with vinegar and mayonnaise every once in a while that's my sandwich order do you think i'm gonna go to jersey mike's tomorrow and order a tuna sandwich no I'm going to go with Old Reliable. So I gave her that analogy and she was just so in awe. And it kind of felt like a big sister talking to a little sister because she was 17 and I was 20. And I just remember telling her like, what is the reason that you feel that you have this many partners? Was it just not luck and love? Was it you were seeking validation? Like, what was the reason? I will never judge you. Even if she just said, I just want to have this many partners. I would have been like, girl, do your thing. Live your life, girl. Let's, let's get you some more. Pull up that app. But because she actually wanted to genuinely find love, she told me her parents never gave her really love. Like, her parents, she was the last child. They, did, they gave up on her. They were never home. They were too busy at the sibling's graduation taking, like, when you are kind of discarded by your family, by your friends, by those around you, she was seeking that validation from men. I remember telling her like, you need to tell yourself every single day, I am good enough, I am enough, I love myself. She was not treating herself with the care and love that she wanted. She was treating herself how other people treated herself. She was disregarding herself. When she had negative emotions towards a guy, she would still follow through with that. Kim got a For those of you who don't know, I am eating fettuccine alfredo with shredded chicken and a bag of broccoli. I don't just eat this on a daily basis, like a bag of broccoli, but my boyfriend's mother Bought, oh, my mother-in-law, mom number two, bought this for me to make broccoli cheese soup. And then she left and was too busy. Like, we were just so busy while she was here. I should have mixed it in the Alfredo, but it's just so good. I'm just so stingy on who has access to me. And a good example of this is when I was growing up, I went through a phrase where I questioned myself. Um, what I liked, if I actually liked those things, because my type has inherently been tall white men skinny um either cowboys or like best buy geeks like i have no other way of describing it. like amish boys cowboys or geeks i've never been into like car guys or like i've never been into guys who like like cars or like mechanics that's just not my type my type is like 
geeky computer or like cowboy like that was always my type growing up so like i used to have crush on the amish guys at the auction that i used to go to okay i just remember that i was doing drama and it's like you had to go after school and perform in a school play so we were doing drama and we were in this play it was called the emperor's new clothes and this kid had a huge crush on me and i remember that <laughs> We were behind the stage and he tried to kiss me behind the stage and see that face see that face i'm so like <laughs> picky about who gets access to me like i barely even talked to him we were just like friends and i looked at him and i went no and he was like why don't you want to kiss me and i was like i'm waiting for the perfect person to kiss like i'm waiting for my person and i just don't feel that we're compatible like i was like i'm waiting to find the perfect person and boy was he mad i remember him telling everyone that i was a b-word a prude like all these things no fun that i remember the big thing at the time was i'm puerto rican he was like the dominican girls and they kiss or something and i was like okay so then go be with them and he was just so mad that i couldn't give him that gratification that he wanted. He wanted the gratification of being able to say, I kissed her. Also at the same point time, I think he had wanted the gratification, gratification of saying, I kissed her and she's impossible to figure out. Like I never really dated anyone. So I just remember I was so pissed off that day. Cause I'm like, I don't think I'm better than anyone. Like, I don't think I'm pretty, like the prettiest girl on the earth. I was like, I don't, I have my own issues. Why does he think that he gets to have this gratification of saying he kissed me? It just makes me so infuriated. And so for years and years, I just waited, I waited. And when I was 14 years old, I kissed my boyfriend at the mall. I have the ability of giving myself the gratification of finding the right person. Like I find the correct person. I don't give just anyone access to me. That's my way of making myself feel um good like i don't know how to describe it i make myself feel full almost full by saying i don't need like even friends if someone disrespects me i give you two tries if you get to the third try you're done cut you off i will physically call people on the phone to ask them if they've done something to me because i'm giving you this final chance to fess up and tell me that you've been talking about me people never ever care usually my first thing is if someone hurts me, I will go to them, either text them or see them in person and ask them. But when it gets to the point where I hear that they're talking about me or I shut it down after the first, no, I didn't talk about you, done. You don't get any more gratification of being able to talk to me. It's not because I'm better than anyone. It's because it's my boundary. I'm done. I gave you one chance. Done. Boundary. For all you people who are wanting serious relationship, now we've been together since we were 14, now I'm 23. I'm gonna be 23 in two weeks. I would say, make sure that you are looking for someone who encompasses all of the things you want and be picky, be picky, be entitled. You're entitled to your own body. You're entitled to your own mindset. You're entitled to like what you like and you're entitled to tell someone no and you can not consent to anything. Someone tells you I wanna to go to the mall. No, I don't want to go to the mall. You can use your no for anything. I used to be a people pleaser. And I still am in some sense, but I've learned lately, no. Someone wants to talk to you on the phone. You're like in the middle of Walmart and you're like, I'm done. I don't really want to talk to anyone. Can I give you a call back? Bye. Click. Um, let's say you're at the middle of a affair and someone comes up to you and is like, here, have this flight. No, I'm good. Like, you're allowed to say no so do the same thing on social media they don't match up to you they don't have the same goals they want to travel the world you're a homebody like you are entitled to say i just don't think this is going to work i think following through meeting with them getting in bed with them doing all these things harms you because i in some sense or harms it would harm me okay i don't want to speak for you guys because you guys can do whatever you want but i'm saying it would harm me because at the end of the day, I just put this person through an entire emotional roller coaster, through an entire cycle of my life, through an entire week in my life, for them, for them to then, for me to then come back and say, I knew from the beginning that I didn't like you. That's not right. But yeah.
This is my first lunch meal time with me. Let me know if that was insightful in any way or if you have any opinions on this topic. I'm just not a big fan of hookup culture. The first thing I told that girl was delete all of those apps and go to Best Buy, Barnes and Nobles. But like, go find someone in person because I feel like you can genuinely scout and get to know someone. Whereas through text, they could be whoever they want to be. In person, they can't really lie to you that much. They can, but there's only so much that you can fake, unless they're a psycho. If they're a psycho or a sociopath, then thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you guys. Bye!